guys, today's video is a review on the Stretch Cords Training Bands. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on it. It's, it won't lift. Oh, there we go. Got it! This is a different review than usual because this isn't an individual item that you would buy yourself. This is more of a team review. And these are items that the team would buy for the whole, like their whole team to use. So it definitely is different than any other review I've done on my channel, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to talk about each of these individually because they are different products, but they're both kind of used for the same thing. So first I have this individual stretch band. This loops around the block and you can either dive with it or you can just push off the wall. Now my team always has us dive because once you're in the water you go further so before you start swimming the band is already pulled taut. Whereas if you push off the wall you can start swimming and the band won't be pulled as taut ahead of time. So I just find that I like diving better. You can do any stroke with these bands and these really help you keep your stroke perfect even when you get tired and you're experiencing resistance especially with butterfly and breaststroke once you get near like eight nine strokes you're almost done you can start swimming straight up because your the band is pulled so tight that you can't go any further so this really helps you force your technique to stay perfect even when you're really tired and you feel like you're not pulling any water my dad actually got the idea for me to review this because i had him try these for the first time I could not believe he'd never used them before, and so we tried them and he absolutely loved them. I found these on both Amazon and Swim Outlet for about $60, and the link will be in the description box below if you want to find them. That's it for this, so let's move on to the next one. This other set of bands is very similar, but it works on your push-offs. Basically, what you do is you loop this part around each side of the lane line, and then you step into the middle of it and clip it around your waist, tighten it to size, and you get in and you do push-offs underwater and you try and get in as many dolphin kicks as you can before it starts to pull you backwards again. And then you take a breath and you do another push-off and they can be really hard. I can barely get in two dolphin kicks, but you got to make them really strong and super quick and snappy before you, know, you get pulled straight back to the wall. The actual stretchy band part is not very long and... It doesn't stretch very easily. It's actually really thick, so it's hard to push off very far. It's $35 on Swim Outlet, and I think it's probably about the same price on Amazon. Again, I'll have links to both websites in the description box below if you're interested. So yeah, $35. The purpose of these is obviously just to work on your push-offs. Now these are really good for me because I don't know why, but I have a horrible problem with not pushing off the walls hard enough. My actual turn is good, but then when I go to push off, everyone else can push off like way further than me, and I don't know why, so I'm really trying to work on it, and I find that these bands are actually really helping, so I'm going to start using them more often when I go swim on my own, because my team doesn't use them every single day, but you know, being me, I do swim a lot on my own. There's a special way to roll up the long band. You're just going to roll it up on your arm, your elbow. And then, the special part to keep from getting tangled, you take the part that goes around your waist, and you loop it through, and then you tighten it. And then it acts like a little handle that you can just hold the band with, which works really well. So if your team ends up getting a whole bunch of them, and you put them in a bin, they won't get all tangled together. Yeah, and I don't really have any tips for this one. Watered up. Whatever. If you guys like the idea of these but you don't want to buy them individually because you don't swim on your own very often then definitely tell your coach about them maybe your team will order a few of them because they are really great and they're not as high intensity and they don't give you a bunch of distance but if you have like a day where you have a morning practice and you want to work more on technique which is what my team does then we use these a lot and it makes for a really hard workout even though you're not doing as much distance so I really like using them I hope you guys enjoyed this team product review. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye! You're being high maintenance today. Cut! Why am I getting so hot? I'm literally sweating right now. <laughs> so you can do any stroke with the... with the bit that... So I'll probably be using... <laughs> oh my gosh. But actually, but that's it.